had to, it came with a pickup, but I was hoping that the uh, pump I had in, already installed, the pickup would work, but the pickup wouldn't work because the pan was just a little bit deeper, a little bit different in depth. Uh, the pickup that I had on the pump was for an eight and a quarter inch pan, and the pan that I got turned out to be an eight inch pan in the depth and uh, the pickup wouldn't fit. The pickup was sitting right on the bottom of the pan and you need to be at least a quarter or three eighths of an inch from the bottom. And I couldn't use the pump because the pickup size was different. The pickup that was on the pump that I put on was a three quarter inch. And the pickup that came with the pan was a five eighths inch. So I ended up having to change the oil pump because I had uh, TIG welded the, pump, the, the pickup to the, to the pump. Um, I always weld the, the pickup to the pump and that way there's no chance of the pickup coming out of the pump. <clears throat> um, just a preventative measure, measure with uh, any performance build. There's always a possibility from engine harmonics, vibration or whatever, even if you Loctite it, sometimes the pickups will fall out of the pump. So <clears throat> that part of it is done. Uh, I, I got the oil in it, the filter on it. I already primed it, um, spun the priming <clears throat> pump uh, till I had oil coming out of all the rockers. Rotate the motor over, spin the primer, prime it some more. Uh, it was about a 35 or 40 minute process, but I wanted to make sure that I was getting oil to all the rockers. <clears throat> that part is all good, so now today I'm going to be putting on the intake manifold. I'll bring it over to the motor. I'm going to explain a little bit about that, some things you got to watch out for, and I'll be right back. All right, we're over at the motor now. A um, couple things that you gotta really watch for is you gotta really watch in these corners here that you make sure you get enough uh, sealer underneath that edge because the head gasket doesn't come all the way up to the top. The head gasket will be down probably, oh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch to three, three sixteenths of an inch below the, the mating surface here. And you have to make sure you get that filled really good. Um, otherwise you'll end up with a leak. And uh, another thing I do when I put the manifolds on is I'll put my sealer on here, on the china rail here, and I'll set the intake manifold on. I'll put bolts in it, snug it up, but I won't torque it <clears throat> until the next day. That gives this sealer a chance to set up and then when you torque it it really <clears throat> seals it up really good uh, another thing I did too is I put these uh, baffle these standoff tubes in the lifter valley uh, those holes are put in the, from the factory to help lubricate when you have a flat tappet cam but when you have roller cam you don't need that <clears throat> a lot of guys will, will take and tap these holes and put pipe, pipe plugs in, but um, a lot of problems you have with um, crankcase pressure, then the crankcase pressure has to relieve itself through these holes in the corner. So you have oil trying to drain down there, and you have crankcase pressure coming back up the other way, so I leave, that's why I leave these open. These got 5 16 hole in them. And uh, so <clears throat> it'll, it will breathe, the crankcase will breathe through these standoffs that I put in, but it won't allow any oil to drop down on the crankshaft. What we're trying to do is eliminate the crankshaft picking up oil. Um, if the crankshaft slings oil, um, that's horsepower. It's, it's just robbing you of power. Um, I've even had it where 
on a dyno. We were dynoing motors, and <clears throat> um, we just tried it one time on one of mine, where we we drained a quart and a half of oil out of it, and the motor picked up 15 horsepower, and that's all horsepower just from windage. The 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 crankshaft whipping the oil around. Um, don't recommend it, but uh, you know I I tried it because I wanted to see what it did. Um, so I'm gonna get the, I got everything all clean here. Um, I'm gonna get go ahead and get the RTV put on these ends and set the manifold in place. We'll be right back. Put a nice even bead on here, just like that there, and you'll have no problems. <clears throat> Same way with the back. Just like that. this camera here and we'll shine a flashlight down the port you can see how well the manifold meet, meets the head right there same way on both sides just about perfect you can see, you just barely see the edge of the cylinder head where it meets the manifold on the top and the bottom. That's just what you got to have. <clears throat> well, now we'll uh, start the bolts. Um, one thing you want to do with the bolts is you want to take and put pipe sealant on the bolts because 
the the middle two and the inner bolt on the end are open holes and there's always a possibility of oil seeping out past the intake manifold bolts so I'll get these bolts ready and I'll be right back I spun that drill for about another five minutes after I shut the camera off and you can see this one here is starting and there's one on the other side here <clears throat> this one right here is starting to drip this one <clears throat> it's just like last time it took um, cranking it over cranking the motor over and spinning the drill and that kind of thing but uh, you get the idea so I get the bronze gear put on the distributor and then uh, we'll stab that in there and then that part will be done. Well, as typical with <clears throat> aftermarket stuff, um, the parts are supposed to fit, but they don't fit. Uh, this gear is supposed to be for a half inch shaft because MSD distributor shaft is half inch and GM uh, like points distributor and HEI distributor use a 490 shaft this one here was marked for 500 shaft on the uh, package but doesn't fit so <clears throat> now I'll take a reamer I found a reamer here a half inch reamer we'll chuck this up in the lathe and ream it out and then it'll fit I'll bring over to the lathe and we'll get this done all right <clears throat> get this thing chucked up here and get it reamed out Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Just like that. <clears throat> All right, I'm back over at the bench. <clears throat> I was going to show you putting this distributor in, but I can't put it in because the distributor has O-rings that go on it here to seal the... <clears throat> Uh, right passenger side oil galley um, so that puts the kibosh to that so <clears throat> I'll get some o-rings come the first of the week and we'll get this stuffed in there and uh, by that time why the the header kit should be here and I'll start working on that <clears throat> um, in the meantime I can finish dressing up the front I can put the water pump on get the pulleys put on the thermostat housing um, I can get all that stuff put on and uh, be one step closer ready to run as soon as the headers are done why uh, that, that's all I'm basically waiting for get the headers done then I'll make plug wires and uh, should be ready to go so Hope you enjoyed that little bit. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.